of the former president today scores a legal victory. The classified documents case against Trump has been thrown out. A Florida judge rules the appointment of special counsel Jack Smith violated the Constitution. However, this decision may not be the end of the case. CBS News Miami's Ted Scouten is in Hollywood now with the very latest. Ted. Yeah, Jim, uh, Trump said that he wants the rest of the witch hunts to end. And at this point, legal experts believe he's going to try to uh, get the January 6th federal case tossed out as well. Former President Donald Trump celebrating a big win from federal court in Fort Pierce. Well, it is a very monumental decision that has put a halt to the case itself. It's been dismissed. David Weinstein is a former federal prosecutor. He explains Judge Eileen Cannon dismissed the case that alleged Trump mishandled classified documents. According to the 93-page ruling, it was based on the unlawful appointment and funding of special counsel Jack Smith. Based on uh, Judge Cannon and Justice Thomas's reading of the Appointments Clause of the Constitution, the only person who can undertake a prosecution is someone who is presidentially appointed and Senate confirmed. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, in the immunity case, spoke of and wrote an opinion about Smith's appointment. In the Truth Social Post, the former president said that this should be just the first step, followed quickly by the dismissal of all the witch hunts. They went outside the realm of the of the official, you know, way to do it. That's it. They didn't, you know, they didn't go through Congress. Trump supporters like the decision. Opponents disagree. I think it's not fair because if any other person were in his shoes, I think they would have been prosecuted. Expect the case to be appealed by Jack Smith. If he loses, it could be refiled by a U.S. attorney. They're appointed by the president. If the Department of Justice should decide that they want to move forward, they could ask the sitting U.S. attorney in the District of Columbia or the sitting U.S. attorney in the Southern District of Florida to take the same evidence and go in front of a grand jury and get another indictment. So the next step in all of this is that uh, Jack Smith could appeal the case if that's what he chooses to do. That will go to the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals. After that, it could make its way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Live in Hollywood, Ted Scouten, CBS News, Miami.